go, 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 Hey assholes, this is Mr. Lift for football and today I'm going to be reviewing the Pro Evolution Soccer 2012 demo. So I had previous Pro Evolution Soccers on PlayStation 3. I had the 09, 10 and 11. None of them were good. But my first impression of this demo was yeah, a big improvement. So if you're expecting it to be the same game, think again. Well, as soon as you start a match, you realize that players can now move more freely. There's an actual 360 degrees. And um, forget the previous, the lag of previous games, the delayed movement. And you're, you're completely um, left to your own devices this time. You can, the player follows you exactly, the timing is perfect. So, good job on tweaking that Konami. The second feature which I noticed was um, the new defending system where you can hold R2 and X to contain and back away from your player and then when you let go of those two buttons you can charge at the player. A successful tackle will lead you into getting the ball and a failed one would lead to a foul. Yeah, it's a very neat feature. Just well, it could be improved and tweaked a bit, but it's quite decent and it adds to the game, you know. Another great feature is the new passing system and the new loft ball system. Well, um, the passing changed, now it's more realistic. And the, you can literally um, cross the ball from one side of the pitch to another without any weird physics and floating ball, so... It's perfect now and it works alongside the brand new animations which are really good. There are over I think a thousand animations and they work on harmony alongside the new passing system. There are new types of passes to complete and new animations while passing. There are also new animations um, while collisions, while um, different types of fouls and stuff like that. But the main feature for me this year was the ability to be able to give to choose a player to make a run it's amazing it's my favorite feature where by pressing r3 and pointing it in the direction of the player you want to make a run you can actually run and you can press triangle to give him the ball it's a very neat feature which is my is the best in my opinion so just by pressing r3 and pointing it into the direction of the player you want to make a run he runs, and you can give him the Xavi and yes, the like through ball. That's amazing, in my opinion. Yeah, and then there's another low-key feature, which is a better improved dribbling. Which is not exactly dribbling, it's more like feints and dummies. By pressing R2, you can do a few feints and dummies, and you can escape the player. It's tricking him. Well, that's very low key. The bad things of the demo are that there's a lot of clipping in every contact, basically, in every foul. A player's hand goes into another player's head. It's very weird. And the shooting is absolute. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's disgusting. I don't know, like. You'll just be running and you shoot the ball from outside the box and it takes, I think, 10 seconds to reach the, the post. Every shot, every single <laughs> shot is a chip. That's the only bad thing. It, it, it's, it's <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's pretty much sums up the demo. Nothing too spectacular, but... Overall, I enjoyed my experience with it, and I'll give it a decent 8.5 on 10. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks.